Live from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, this is the Pix 11 Morning News. Lori is shaking. You just 737, if you've ever brought jewelry, you know, bought it, you, you know how yeah. confusing it would be because you really have to trust the person that you're buying from. <laughs> I know nothing is it real? It. Is it fake? Is it 10 karat, 14, 18, 22? What is it? Yeah, I have to just like read the thing and, and pray that I'm actually you yeah. know, getting what they say, whether it's diamonds or rubies or sapphires or whatever. I mean, I'm a, I don't know much about it. But you know what? Someone joining us this morning is going to help us sure. navigate through it and protect ourselves. Kirsten Cole is here with a, a gem of a story. Oh, aren't you guys sweet? <laughs> yes. You know, all that glitters is not gold. And we're here to it. tell you about it. The internet is filled with complaints from consumers, lawsuits filed against some of the biggest jewelry sellers. And questions how the heck can anyone make sure that they're getting the real thing? Watch and learn. You know, because people ask me constantly, they'll see something that I'm wearing and they're like, hey, where did you get that? Usually I don't know. Or if it's like, is that real? I have no idea. Caitlin uh, Venadam loves her jewelry collection. Pieces that tell the tale of her travels. I got them in um, in Utah. This one's from Mexico. This is my absolute favorite necklace of all time. I got it in London. So my mom has a lot of costume jewelry, but it's hard to tell which ones are real and which ones aren't. Along with a few sentimental baubles from her deceased grandmother, she just has no idea what they're worth. It's just something that I kind of found that was, you know, hidden underneath one of the velvet pieces in her jewelry box. If this is a real emerald surrounded by diamonds, do you have any idea how much it would be worth? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Anthony Loray is a jewelry expert, gemologist, and appraiser. He has an entire vault of glittery gold and sparkly baubles at the Provident Loan Society where they give customers loans on their pricey pieces. And he has seen the best of the real stuff and some fabulous fakes. People think that uh, fakes and uh, synthetics and simulants are kind of a new thing, yeah. but they've been around for centuries. He teaches me some quick ways to spot a fake from biting a pearl necklace, first the imitation. Totally smooth. Then the yeah. gritty yeah. feel yeah. of real pearls. You it's can a actually feel the ridges. Sandy feeling, yeah. Correct. Almost. Yes. A magnet is a quick and cheap way to pick out imitation metals. Yeah. The real deal, like platinum, white, and yellow gold, won't stick. So we know this is a fake. Correct. And we bring out Caitlin's treasures use. with Anthony looking at that looking at large stone, emerald stunner tight. and a diamond ring that could be worth thousands each, but uh, both come back. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, 100% correct. Is fake. A final bright spot. Well, this one, this Anthony's expert eye finds that Caitlin's diamond stud earrings, a gift from mom, are the real deal. Oh, these are beautiful. These, these are diamonds yeah. that any woman would be happy to have. So we really want to put some baubles to the test, and guess what? We opened up the vault. Yeah, okay. Su <laughs> Suki and I brought in some pieces along with producers. Well, you can see them here. And coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, we are going to put our pieces to the test. And we were talking about emeralds and sapphires. Right. And uh, we were talking about rubies. I always find when I'm shopping for those, not that I go shopping all the time for that, but I always find they're very difficult to kind of tell. That is the one. Those are the ones that get faked the most mm. often. And there are some fabulous fakes, and they go back for centuries. Mm. They've been doing this. And we've got this terrific thing online, an interactive test, how to spot a fake. You can go to our website, pix11.com. Oh. Click on Scene on Pix11. We're going to help you decide, is it real? Is it fake? What's like it that. worth? And then, of course, at 815, the appraiser will be here. Oh. Suki will be testing them out. We'll test out right. my little we'll uh, see how my ruby do. ring. Uh -huh. I hope it's real. Ruby, maybe it's Crossing ruby. fingers. Crossing mm. fingers. All right. Thank you.